Hi, I put this web page together for my year 11 class to help them to revise. This is a quick guide as to how you can use this website as part of your own revision. I'm using the word revision as I'm expecting that you have covered all of the topics on here before in depth in class and are now practicing what you have learned. Students often complicate revision for maths. Um, they buy revision guides and rewrite notes. They then use things like BBC Bite Size and make, make even more notes. And then they use highlighters to highlight important bits and spend their time rereading their notes, then rewrite their notes again, and so on, etc. In fact, this isn't the most effective way to um, revise for maths. The secret to revise for maths is to just do lots of maths. Um, and the idea of this web page is to enable you to do just that by focusing on the topics that you need to work on. If, for example, um, you um, wanted to work on revising uh, recurring decimals, for example, then what you would do is on this sheet here, um, you would find recurring decimals, which is number 93 here, and um, you click on it. You then have a go at um, the questions on this page. So um, there's plenty of questions for you to have a go on, on, on recurring decimals. Um, what I suggest you to do is to have a go at the first couple of questions. And, um, and then if you go back to this sheet over here, you can go to the answers. And then you can just check the answers to the first couple of questions that you've answered. Um, if you were unsure of how to go about answering these questions in the first place, then I would suggest that you use the answers first to get an idea as to how you can go about answering these questions here. Um, hopefully this will rejog your memory of the things that you have done in class. Failing that, if you're still unsure as to what's going on, then you can go back over here and you can watch the video. So once you click on the video, it will it will guide you through exactly how you can go about answering these types of um, math questions. So um, once you're happy and you feel that you know exactly what you're doing, you can go back to the questions and um, and have a go at the rest of them. And you want to get lots and lots of practice. And and the beauty of these exam questions here, or these exam papers here. Um, are all the questions on the same topic and it covers every single type of um, question that you, you need to be able to answer in order to be successful in this topic um, in your GCSEs. Right, once you've completed that, if you go back to the takeaway menu over here, um, go back to the answers again and you can mark all of the work that you've done. If you've gone wrong anywhere, you should be able to see where you've gone wrong because um, all of the uh, papers have work solutions on them so you'll be able to spot where you've gone wrong and then finally to give yourself a final test of your knowledge if you click on the um, quiz here this will take you to um, the brilliant Mr Barton's um, diagnostic quiz, quiz questions your teacher may have given you a login I know my class have got their login and password for this um, if you haven't then you can click on guest and you can go through and answer some multiple cho choice questions uh, to make sure that you're happy about what you're doing. Uh, can I just suggest when you're doing these that if you click on the answer that you think it is, so this one I think is B, if you give a quick reason in there as to why you think your answer is B in this particular case, that's a useful thing for you to do. Um, because it will get you to reflect on where you're getting your solutions from. Okay, once you're happy and you've covered that topic, um, a useful thing that you might want to do at this stage is now you know the kind of things that, you're, uh, that you need to be able to do is um, to make yourself a very quick flashcard and maybe put in a couple of exam um, example questions on this as well. Uh, finally, um, just want to wish you all luck with your GCC max exams. I know this is a very stressful time, but I'm sure with the hard work that you put in, um, you will go on to be successful. Thank you.